49th birthday. For the past 10 years that I've been mayor, we've always enjoyed the fact that we like the cold weather in North Bend in February. However, this year it appears our president is in a better mood, a little warmer today. However, no matter what the weather is like, we take great pride in remembering and celebrating the vast contributions that are attributed to President Harrison. In a few minutes, Brigadier General John M. Dreska will be speaking about our ninth president of the United States. However, I would like to take a few minutes to speak about why we take this time as a community to remember President Harrison. Some may think we do this to remember one man, but I say we do this to remember why we are the United States. Throughout the years, our country has been through many challenges and great victories, but we have continued to remain strong in our willingness to sacrifice. The founders of this country made significant sacrifices in order for this country to exist. In our present day, the United States seems to have become two separate countries. We now discuss, discuss our country as either blue states or red states. I state to you today, we are neither red or blue, but we are red, white, and blue. Even when we disagree does not mean we have to be disagreeable, but we need to find a way to get along. If President Harrison was alive today, I do not think he would appreciate where our country discourse is. If we are to remain strong and prosperous country, we must adhere to the principles of our country that allows for our people to have the opportunity to seek life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. All of us are in this together. And it is times like these that we must remember that we are Americans first. We must always remember that it is for freedom that so many have sacrificed their lives so that we can remain free from tyranny. Today, we have asked students from Taylor High School in the sixth grade class from Taylor to take time out of their schedule to participate in this celebration. We have done this so that our next generation can understand the sacrifices that so many have undertaken for them to remain free. As stated in our program by Benjamin Franklin, tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I will learn. It is clear that we all must maintain our diligence to ensure that our future generations can enjoy the freedoms that we all take for granted. Our military clearly understand those challenges that face our country, and we thank them for their continued service and sacrifice in, for, or, in order for the rest of us to enjoy the freedoms we currently have today. May we all take this occasion to remember those who have lost their lives protecting our freedom and for those currently serving, that God may provide them with the courage to continue to protect us. At this time, I'd like to introduce Brigadier General Don John Dreska. Not yet, he's got a little bio. <laughs> and trust me, it's a lot shorter than previous Brigadier Generals. Have been here. Brigadier General John M. Dreska, Commanding General of the 311th Expeditionary Sustainment Command. Brigadier General John M. Dreska was born at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, and was a distinguished military graduate of The Ohio State University in 90, 1992. O.H. I.O. He told us. <laughs> he, he was commissioned as a second lieutenant into the Quartermaster Corps from The Ohio State University ROTC program in 1992. He received his MSA from Central Michigan University and a master's certificate in government contracting from George Washington University. His military, military education includes the quartermaster, officer, basic and advanced courses, U.S. Army Combined Arms and Services Staff School, the U.S. Army Command and General Staff College, the U.S. Army War College, and the Joint Combined War Fighting School at the Joint Forces Staff College. Previously, B.G. Dreska served as director of the Counter ISIS Train and Equipment Fund in Kuwait from May 2020 through January 2021. Prior to this, he served as deputy commander of the 311 Sustainment Command Expeditionary in Los Angeles, California from May 2018 through February 2020. In 2009, he served in Afghanistan as a DOD civilian working as the lead class nine planner for the president's surge. In 2008, he served with multinational forces Iraq, MNF-1, as a brigade-level operations officer and executive officer. 
B.G. Dreska resides in Gahana, Ohio, with his wife, Carol, and his children, John and Taylor. With this, I'd like to introduce the Brigadier General. never done with your education and it is so good to see so many kids out here today um, from the sixth grade level you know up through the high school and, and, and I just have to say uh, you know, I couldn't hide the tears on the national anthem I always cry for the national anthem but to hear kids with that passion coming through their voices it, it's very emotional I've been to a lot of funerals over the years and uh, I folded a lot of flags and I've received a lot of flags and I'll tell you what not one day goes by that I don't feel that emotion. It really comes out. And sometimes I just can't control myself. So it is just wonderful to see all the children here today. Thank you for coming here to pay tribute to President Harrison. And here are a few words. Always remember that you're never done with your education. I still have to go back to school twice this year. And I'm 51 years old. And I'm still going to school. So always remember that. All right? You're never done with your education. And, edu and, and education will always, always, always help you to succeed in life. Okay. With that said, uh, Mayor Sammons, and, and, and I would read all, all, all the dignitaries here and all the wonderful representatives here, and I, but I apologize, I will miss some of them. So if it's okay, if I could say all elected officials, I, I, I thank you all. Um, absolutely just fantastic to have such a good showing out here at, at, the, at this memorial today. It is my privilege uh, to serve as the official representative of President Joe Biden. At this ceremony, honoring the 249th anniversary of the birth of, the, of President William Henry Harrison. President Harrison was born February 9th, 1773. He is best remembered as a man who served in every aspect of his life. Every step of his career, he served the people of our nation. This was selfless service to the country. It was not service to himself. At the age of 68, after a lifelong career in public service, William H. Harrison was elected to the office of the President of the United States. In his fateful inaugural address on March 4, 1841, which lasted more than two hours in the cold driving rain, and thankfully, this is an unbelievable heat wave out here that we don't have the cold driving rain out here, he gave a speech. And with this speech, we saw a leader come out of retirement so he could continue service to the nation. One month after his inauguration, President Harrison passed away. While, while his time in office may have been brief, his road to the White House and his accomplishments were pretty amazing. In 1791, Harrison began his life of public service. Harrison joined the Army as an ensign and served as aide de camp to Major General Anthony Wayne during the Indian Wars in the Northwest Territory and quickly rose to the rank of captain. In 1798, he left the army to become governor of the Northwest Territory. At the outbreak of the War of 1812, he returned to the army, distinguished himself through strong leadership and his tactical abilities on the battlefield. Harrison was promoted to Brigadier General and given command of the Army of the Northwest. After the war, he returned to civilian life of public service, where he earned the nomination for president by the Whig Party in 1840. The slogan, Tippecanoe and Tyler II, became their battle cry, making Harrison the first presidential nominee to use a campaign slogan. And it's something we are truly very with today with campaign slogans. Amen. At the age of 68, William Henry Harrison was elected president of the United States of America. This was a remarkable accomplishment in itself, but an extraordinary, extraordinary example of Harrison's lifelong dedication to serving the nation. I ask you all to look for those opportunities out there where you can serve your fellow Americans and our nation. This comes from volunteering. It could be with scouting. It could be volunteering at a food pantry. It could be donating your time to Habitat for Humanity, any of our wonderful civic organizations, any of our veteran organizations, anything like that. Take some time to think. All of us can do that. Give some time back. Just give some time back. 
President, Ham Pre President Harrison will be remembered for his dedication to selfless, selfless public service above all else. He was truly a man of the people and for the people. I thank you for the opportunity to commemorate the life and contributions of this remarkable man from Ohio. President William Henry Harrison was a lifelong public servant whose selfless service and dedication continues to be an inspiration to all Americans. I thank each of you for taking the time to join me here today. God bless you all, and God bless the United States of America.